Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In case you don't know me, I am Krisa. I know I haven't been posting in a while now because I've been taking a lot of exams. Um, I moved. If you've been watching my vlogs, I was stuck in the UAE. I did try my best to move to the UK and now I'm the UK and I am applying for the US. So uh, in the next few weeks, hopefully, I will have the energy to make a series of sit down vlogs to help other nurses. So I'll be sharing with you how I went from UAE to UK and how I am doing my application with the US. Okay, so I've done pretty much everything on my own. So walang agencies. So if you have questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer. And please please don't forget to like and subscribe so you will no be notified if I have a new video. I've decided to make this video because a lot of my friends have been messaging me how I st study for the NCLEX and I could see this also in some posts in the in Facebook groups. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to um, take the exam before the NGN. The NGN is the new generation NCLEX and they're gonna start it on April 2023. I believe it's April 2023. So, all right, let's not delay this any further. And we are going to talk about how I studied for the NCLEX and my tips for you to pass. Okay, so um, so I didn't enroll in a review center because uh, this is usually like 15 to 20,000 pesos and well, if you want to enroll yourselves and you have the capacity to pay for it, then by all means you can do so. But um, I'm making this video for those who don't want to pay for the review centers and they want to do it on their own. And yeah, so it's doable, guys. You just need to know the right resources and you have to make time for it okay so if you want to do it on your own and you want to save money watch this video and hopefully you'll get some insight and just take some points and you can apply it hopefully it will help you okay so let's start so um this is a combination of how i did it and how it should be done or it could be better it could be done better um i studied for the nclex for about a month and a half so i started mid-august and took the exam on the 5th of october but i wasn't able to study on the like last week of september because i got sick so appro yeah approximately it's one month and a half i personally would not recommend that you do the same so if you can start earlier and like if you feel like malapit na yung eligibility nyo, start studying. I think the best time to study is like two months to three months, okay? Make a schedule. So, um, or like plot your schedule, you plot your work schedule because we are working, so. But if you're not working, then lucky you. But for us who are working while studying, you plot your work schedule and based on that, you adjust your study schedule. So, minimize your lag okay for the time being it's just like two or three months guys it's i don't know man it's worth it okay so how i did it was since my work schedule is monday to friday from 8 o'clock a.m to 4 30 p.m what i did was in the morning i wake up 5 a.m to answer the charity i answer one chapter a day and then um, I take a nap, I prepare for work, 8 to 4.30 I'm at work and I usually get back around or I usually get home around 6 p.m. Um, take my dinner, take another nap uh, and then I start by 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. So yeah, that's my st really really my study time. So 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock p.m. Okay, so honestly, I wasn't really very strict about it because there are really days that I'm really, really tired from work and I just sleep so if you don't be too hard on yourself if you feel like you need to rest then take that day off okay um, listen to your body okay so this is what I would recommend you to do if you have the same schedule as me then you can follow this but if not then you can just adjust it okay but I started I start with the charity in the morning 
that just one chapter diba so i usually finish in an hour or less than an hour so chari- la charity that's uh, your prioritization and delegation it's very very important because uh, like for me 60 70% of my exam was prior dele so naga ano lang siya like nag naga alternate lang sila ng satas if i get wrong sa sata mag prior dele na naman siya so it's very very important okay and then um at night you okay so for your first month diba sabi ko it's three months so f- your first month you do u world okay and do it by system u world has um the most comprehensive rationale out there and i think i personally think na it's enough for you to know what are the things that you need to know for the nclex so make make that your foundation kumbaga so now i didn't pay for the u world i do have something so in case you need it just let me know you can comment your email down below and i can give that to you okay Secret lang natin to. <laughs> okay. Now, when you're studying for the U world, make sure that you read everything very slowly and you make sure that you understand everything. And whether you got the answer right or wrong, make sure to read the rationale, okay? Now, if you come across a certain concept or like there are things na hindi pa din claro sa'yo despite reading the rational this is where simplenursing.com comes in simple nursing they have a youtube channel and honestly he is my ultimate lifesaver i think i did get a lot from him so what's nice with simple nursing.com is whenever they talk they talk about a certain topic they are like discussing also the most commonly asked questions and Every time, magsabi sila na huge, huge NCLEX tip. Lumalabas yan. So, take note of that. Special. Basta, basta, watch the, his videos. Okay. Now, I do have a, my laptop here. Kasi, I don't want to forget anything that's, you know, helpful for you guys. So, please bear with me. Hmm... Okay, also, by the way, he was my lifesaver sa pharmacology because I'm not very good with memorization. So, he has, like, a way of making mnemonics and basta mayroon siyang way to remember the drugs. So, it's very, very helpful when you watch his videos, okay? Now, that's for the weekdays, okay? So, we're gonna talk about the weekends now. For the weekends, what I did was I do archers. Archers is the only thing that I purchased. I purchased it for like $89. Um, that was for two months of access for the question bank. And they do have videos, but I actually finished those videos. Like It's like one hour every system, but I do not recommend it. Because um, I think that those videos you can watch them on with from simplenursing.com on youtube in a shorter time like 15 minutes lang siguro and so I, what i did was i answered 150 questions a day that's 75 questions for the assessment in the morning and then i take a nap in the afternoon and in the evening i take the CAT exam so most times i like if i pass i just have 75 questions but again it's a CAT exam so it adjusts so if if hindi siya decided kung ipasa kanya or if fail then mag increase yung number of questions okay so it's really good to like know how para siyang kagaya na ng NCLEX okay so actually parang malaman mo if you got the last question right or wrong kasi yung next question mo is either easier or harder question so but just don't overthink i do not recommend that okay if you got the wrong and an- the the last question wrong then bumawi ka lang that's the most important thing okay you can't do anything about the previous question as long as you're still answering the current question then you're still in the game that's what mark Klimek said <laughs> you're still in the game okay so now uh where else i i'm lost now okay okay 
let's go back to archers. Archers may not have the best uh, rationale out there. Um, but it's the parang siya talaga yung pinaka similar with the NCLEX. Okay, I can remember I have I had like three to four questions na very very the same with my questions sa uh, and and even the choices they were the same so i highly recommend you use archer as your question bank kasi the vague kasi yung NCLEX. and the the vagueness with archer is, is just the same so it's really really nice okay i i do understand na yung rationale nila sometimes magsabi lang sila na um, um the correct answer is a b is not a so B is not right. C is not correct. D is not correct. Ganun lang. So, it's not really very useful. Hindi naman lahat, but it's not really as thorough as you world. Okay, so just use that as your question bank. You can use that as your assessment. Use that as your cap. Okay. Now, um, I think what's best is to finish first the you world for about a month. Then after you finish you world, you do the archers. Okay, so question bank ka na lang by the second month. So I think ang best way is you like start ka muna with 50 questions per day for that week. For the second week, try to increase it to 75 questions per day. And then gradually increase it to 100 questions per day on the third week hanggang sa you'll reach the 150 uh, questions per day that is to build your stamina okay kasi it's better to it's better to um expect the most number of questions and finish early than to expect to just get 75 questions and mag panic attack ka na after your 75 questions okay so i think it's better to prepare for the worst, okay? Now, for Mark Klimek, I did watch his very, very old um, recordings. Um, I think you can still find them. We find ways, guys, na agina. Okay, so I do recommend that you listen to it twice. Basta not just once. And listen to the second one uh, by the time that you're almost um, about to take your... NCLEX, okay? Kasi, um, the way he discusses the concepts, it's like, ano na siya, like, how you remember them. And so, if you don't have the proper foundation, confuse ka lang. It's just gonna mess you up during the exam. So, I, I highly recommend that you do the second, um, uh, listen to the second one. Uh, pag malapit na exam mo and you're done with the U world, Okay? And he also mentioned that um, the the lectures are, is just like one part. You do the blue book and the yellow book too, okay? So for the blue book and the yellow book, I do ha I did the Quizlet because like if you're, I'm in the bus, I just like try to answer, answer, answer. Anyway, I'm gonna link the Quizlet down below just in case you wanna use it, okay? And um, very very important. Uh, memorize the lab values and the common uh, drugs and their toxicity levels and their antidotes there's no way around it just have to memorize it so if you're like me and you're very bad with memorization i would recommend doing the quizlet now what else i think we're almost done okay just last na lang to. These are just tips. Learn to manage your stress and anxiety because um, there's a certain level of stress na helpful because that's gonna push you to study but if it's like more than that, it's not gonna be helpful for you. It will increase the level of cortisol in your body and you're not gonna be able to focus. Okay, so try to learn ways to manage your stress try to do deep breathing exercises things like that okay um what else get enough sleep if you're like me get enough sleep okay if you feel like sleepy 
while studying don't have to force it don't 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 have to um what else so i'm down with my last point it's, this is very important okay keep your faith and flex is by far the hardest exam that i took and like majority of my questions were satas like nagana lang siya satas prior dali satas prior dali so um alam mo yung every click mo nang next you pray <laughs> na sana tama tong answer ko like i think i spent they do not recommend it but i really spent like five minutes every question more sometimes even more kasi yeah basta keep your faith um pray that you'll be you'll be able to remember the things that you have studied pray for guidance and enlightenment the you'll be choosing the right answers okay okay so i i guess that's it and i wish you all good luck and if kaya ko i know you can do it too so laban lang um so thanks for watching and if you know anyone who is planning to take the nclax please do share this please don't forget to like and subscribe